Welcome back to part two. Again, the table below shows the number of survey subjects who have received and not received a speeding ticket in the last year and the color of their cars. We're asked to find the probability that a randomly chosen person has a red car given they have a speeding ticket. Because we're given they have a speeding ticket, we're only concerned about the people in this column here. Notice a total of 304 people have a speeding ticket. So again, we're asked to find the probability a randomly chosen person has a red car given they have a speeding ticket. So of those that have a speeding ticket, notice 120 of them have a red car, and therefore the probability a randomly chosen person has a red car given they have a speeding ticket is 120 divided by 304. This is called conditional probability, which we indicate as the probability of a red car given they have a speeding ticket. Let's just say given a ticket, which is 120 divided by 304. Let's show the decimal and percentage as well. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0.3947. Which is equal to 39.47%. Next, we're asked to find the probability that a randomly chosen person has a red car and got a speeding ticket. Well, we know we find the red cars in this row, and those that got a speeding ticket in this column. So, because we're looking for the probability, a randomly chosen person has a red car and got a speeding ticket. We're looking for the number of people in the intersection of this row and column, which is the 120 people here. These 120 people have a red car and got a speeding ticket. So the probability of a red car and, and means intersection, a ticket is equal to 120 out of the total of 596. And therefore the probability of a red car and a ticket is equal to 120 divided by 596, which to four decimal places is approximately 0 0.2013, which is 20.13%. And having a red car and getting a speeding ticket are dependent events so we could have also found this probability by using this formula here, where if events A and B are dependent, then the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A has occurred. But since we have the table, I think it's easier just to use the table. And then for part F, for us to find the probability that a randomly chosen person has a red car or got a speeding ticket. So a person is considered favorable if they have a red car or they have a speeding ticket. So we know we have the red cars in this row and we have the speeding tickets in this column. But we can't just add the 304 and the 249 to determine the number of people that have a red car and got a speeding ticket because if we did notice how we would count 120 twice. So the number of people that have a red car or got a speeding ticket is 120 plus 184 plus 129. These three cells represent the number of people that have a red car or got a speeding ticket, which means the probability of red or ticket is equal to the sum of 120, 184, and 129 divided by the total number of people, which is 596. So this is equal to 120 plus 129 plus 184, all divided by 596. Going to the calculator, this gives us approximately 0.7265. is 72.65%. And we could have found this probability using the probability formula for a union shown here, where the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. 
So you may want to try this, but since we have the table, I think it's easier just to use our reasoning skills to determine the probabilities. I hope you found this helpful.